My wife and I drink a lot of carbonated water. I got tired of buying carbonated water in 12 packs, so I made a do-it-yourself chilled water carbonation system. Now we drink copious amounts of chilled carbonated water on tap with berries, fruit, or a splash of juice added. It's cut down on how much beer we drink and ended up saving money on our carbonated water bill. And here's how it was built. This is the heart of the system. Uh, it's a small refrigerator. It's actually my own dorm, old dorm refrigerator. In the middle here is a small Cornelius keg in the refrigerator. Now, one side uh, has the CO2 tank, and that pushes CO2 at a fairly high pressure, about 40 psi, uh, into that Cornelius keg. That's a 15-pound CO2 tank there, and it's going to take a long time before it needs to be refilled, probably six months even at our very high water consumption rate. There's a small CO2 regulator right here that just lets you make sure that you, you, know, you can adjust how much pressure. Anywhere from 30 to 50 psi is a good number for carbonated water. 30 is going to get you a low carbonation. 50 is going to get you a very high carbonation. One other thing, when you get this CO2 filled, be sure you take it somewhere that has beverage grade CO2. That was something I had to learn. Um, if you go get it filled at you know, uh, uh, maybe a welding supply store, the CO2 that you get was transported in not very clean conditions and you don't want to use that for drinking. So make sure it's beverage grade CO2. Okay, so um, that CO2 heads into the left side of your Cornelius keg. Now, the middle of your Cornelius keg here is the special bit. We'll get into it in just a moment. That is where the water is supplied. It's actually tap water coming into this thing. More on that in a moment. The last valve here on the right is where the carbonated water heads out of the system. You can see I just drilled some holes in the back of the refrigerator here, and that heads up to the faucet upstairs. Since there's about three gallons of water in this old dorm fridge uh, uh, in the in the kegerator here. Um, it comes out chilled and ready to drink from this thing whenever you want to use it. Here's the secret to this setup. I'm not getting a commissions here, so I'm not recommending that you buy this from any particular online store or, or you know, maybe you can find another product that does something like this. That's fine. But it's the useful bit right here. This is a continuous soda carbonator keg lid. Uh, it's a special device that fits on the top of any keg, so you can remove the lid of any keg you've got and put this in its place. And it's special because it has uh, not only the usual CO2 and output uh, posts, but this center one here is uh, it's going to take a third input, that is your tap water coming in. And down below here is the special thing. Uh, it, this has a water level sensor inside it, probably just some kind of float. Um, and it senses the water level in the keg. So as you consume water from this keg, carbonated water coming out of the keg, the water level in the keg goes down. And when this float falls far enough, it opens a valve which lets new tap water flow from uh, your tap system into the top of this thing and refill the keg. And it will get recarbonated over the course of, you know, 12, 24 hours. And so um, this thing stays continually full and continually carbonated. This system with like the float that goes down and then the valve that turns on is honestly like the system that's used to refill uh, a toilet. Now, that setup that we were just looking at sits in an unfinished basement right below my kitchen sink. The view upstairs at the kitchen sink is as follows. So um, on the water uh, supply side, usually you know this, this water used to go straight up to the cold water of my sink uh, faucet. I put a little splitter on here and a valve on each side of that splitter so that I can turn them on and off as, as I like. Um, one side still goes up to the sink here, but the other side supplies that keg downstairs. Now, it doesn't go straight to the keg. There's actually something called a check valve. Here's a picture of that check valve. What this is, uh, you can pick it up from your local hardware store, whatever they got. Um, it makes sure that no water comes back from the uh, carbonated water system and back into your house water supply. Otherwise, you'll be showering with carbonated water and that's not something you want. Now, special note here, all the tubes that I used in this thing were polyethylene tubing. That's usually used to uh, pipe water to like an ice maker in a freezer, for example. I chose that because it imparted little to no flavor. I tried vinyl tubing and, you know, even the beverage grade stuff that is used in other keg systems, it just gave it some flavor. I thought this polyethylene tubing gave the least flavor. Uh, and it was very simple to work with. Last up, you want an attractive way to get at this carbonated water, so I picked up a small water faucet from the local hardware store. I installed it into my sink here. And so the output from that little kegerator in the basement uh, shoots right up into this thing here. And when you turn it on, you've got ready to drink chilled carbonated water. So this is a do-it-yourself continuous soda carbonated water system. Um, you can use it, you can make it with parts that you may already have, especially if you're a home brewer like I am. And, uh, you know, it reduces your beer consumption, it increases your water consumption, and it's practically free. I mean, the CO2 refills are 30 bucks every six months or a year. 
and otherwise you're drinking tap water. So it's a great way to get more water and less bad things in your diet. And honestly, it's like an afternoon of work to set it up. So off you go, have fun. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more unique and useful do-it-yourself builds.